Hello everyone. Uh, I know maybe you heard about enchantment, you heard about sublimations, you heard about sharding, but you never understand why. And today I will be here to explain to you how you can do it, explain the basics, and they can show you how to go from a ring with just 13 single target mastery to a ring that gives you 13 plus 12 plus 25 single target mastery basically a ring that gives you double the damage so the first thing is like uh, the items will have a question mark that's unidentified you need to just double click on it to identify it and for that you will have a chance to get in the colors like you see we got just one slot one green and uh, I have a uh, I think I have uh, the chances to get in the slots on here on method workflow. I can show you the, the link. It's one slot 20%, two slots 45%, three slots 25%, four slots 10%. That's for identification. That's the chance to get in that. So when you open it, like you see, we got like three slots. We got we were lucky, that's kinda unlucky. We got three here, we got two, we got one. You see we got the colors and stuff. So depending on your luck you will get the stuff. And there is the color. Like there is four colors. There is the red, the green, blue and white. White it is is the joker color. It can admit like any color, it works like any color. And the chances is 30% for red, 30% for green, in blue, like the same percent, and 10% for the white. Like, uh, you will see, like, in chat, and Ruby likes people that, like, R, W, B, G, when they want to buy equipment, that they mean, they mean the colors, there. like, air for red, white for the slot, and the slot, as you said, it's, uh, it's a joker color. And, uh, and the, each color gives you bonus. Like you see, like the reds can give you earth resistance, um, single target mastery, uh, element, um, melee mastery, zone, distance, berserk, the green one, this is all for reds. Or the green ones can give you initiative, fire resistance, critical mastery, real mastery, and dodge. That's all for the green color. When you shard them, and for the blue, it gives you air and water resistance, life, healing mastery, elemental mastery, and lock. Uh, that's for each one. And depending on where you have the slot, uh, you can get a double buff. So as you can see, like, uh, we have a white on the on here. You can fill it basically with any shard. You just like click on the, the slot, and you can click on effect, and you can fill it. Because it's white, it can like take red, the greens, blues, and you can see the effect of the, the shards when you fill them up. Basically, like this is the same like for the green, you can click here, you can fill the green with just like these ones, dodge, critical mastery, fire resistance, you can fill it up and put more levels. As you can see, like the level of the sharding depends also like on the, your gear. So when you fill it up, you choose like level two, you can click on shard. You will need to have shards before, I have already. You can just click, fill it up, and then accept. Choose which effect you want. Let's say this one I want. For example, so melee mastery, just put it like that, and here I am. I gained four melee mastery D, three melee mastery, and ten resistances. Uh, and uh, for higher level, this is a uh, level 190. You can, you can reach higher level in sharding more than three. And as you can see, if let's say we feel like fire, uh, critical mastery, you can go higher and higher, like more than three, level five, six, seven, I think at, until level 10. You, but you need to pay 3,199 shards. That's too much for me. But as you can see, the higher uh, levels you put in, the more mastery or bonuses you get, but it gets more expensive. So be careful about that. Uh, here we have another one, it's the same thing. You choose for a blue, you can fill it up and choose your bonus and put in the shots. 
and it's the same thing so now you, you may ask yourself how can you obtain more colors yeah you, 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 but you still like you can fill up more if you want you can do it if you want to fill it up you can fill it like that you will see like you notice something like in blue it says double bonus one is just in white uh, writing like why here is the reason why like if you see like uh, the icon it says which effect is doubled so let's try for single target for example we just went to Zenith Wakfu we'll I'll leave you the link under the, the description let's take like single target this one that which gives you like double bonus on the headgear and the, and the boots so if you put it for example like if you try to put it on on your uh, amulet it will give you just four single target mastery but if you put it on uh, headgear it should give you eight double so that's why having certain colors on certain gear is is interesting so you can benefit from even double uh, the bonus from sharding as you can see like the icons you can see like for all for all the, the gears the same you can also i think see it on the on the item itself uh, but if you want to change or the or lower the like change the bonus or stuff lower it you will need like to go to the to the enchantment workshop and you can find it in every nation you can see the icon it says enchantment workshop you can find it here in Brakmar just uh, to the to the west and you can find it also in Sofokia it's there enchantment workshop and it's close to the zap you walk there and you find it you there is in uh, Bonta it's here to the south and there's also in Amakina one in Amakina to the east so you can find it in each nation you can go there if you want to have more slots let's say like you want like for one like we we decided to go with for example this one that has three slots we can also like remove if you don't want to have the colors you can remove and recover the shards just be careful to to not uh, to, to, to not forget that you will lose 90 percent you can also change the the effect without paying any shards you can do that if you want to change no need to remove all the shards removing all the shards only necessary when you want to to actually to actually just uh, like for example if you want to change the colors so let's try to improve the numbers of this one like it has only one slot white we want more we can go this is the effects where you can add the effect the bonus and there you go to the number uh, tab the number tab you can browse from the inventory like the same here the same rarity or you can grab it yourself and put it there I, I prefer to put it here myself so I don't sacrifice something in, in that I don't like so for for example like for this one we will need red because it gives uh, let's say distance mastery I want more slots four slots it's advisable to go for four slots and only want three slots that are perfect color the color you want like I want distance three red and here we we, we, we sacrificed we got the chance used and we got a second slot we still have six charges remaining so six more tries here i did i was unlucky with this didn't get any 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 roar. so we try to to do more and uh, no lucky i was lucky got the third slot green one no luck no luck no luck sometimes it happens like that it's there is, there is some 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 low chance to get four slots you can get it from first time you can get it after sacrificing a bunch but here you are we got like four slots nice slots you can fill them up or if you want like other effects like for example i want the red effects you can fill it up like this you can see and also like you can see the bonus is on the the right side see like it tells you like the fire resistance it gives you like for the this one it gives you double on the breastplate and on the belt this is a belt so it gives me double fire resistance or double rear resistance on the green 
if you can check for the other colors like you can see like here when you choose the effect it it, it tells you like any uh, just it gives you seven fire resistance but if you try it on the on the on the on the belt to try to the fire resistance because it gives double bonus you will get 14 instead for three levels of shardic so it's important to have the right colors on the uh, with the bonus on the right gear because I want red we can use another charge on the color let's say for example I want red here we can check here like his, you can click on the network for it will show you and red highlight which ones gives you the double so as we can saw like the rear and fire but also give distance and area mastery. So you know, like for this, it's a belt distance. That's something that I want. These are nice colors for the belt because that's what I'm looking for. You can you can do the same concept for other gear, uh, but for this you will need to, to sacrifice for the for the colors. Like for this one, this one is perfect. If you want like core rear mastery. The white one will work for all colors. The white you can consider it as having a red, blue, or green. Works for any. Like you can see, like you can put distance mastery already. I can put like water, uh, blue elements. But uh, from here, like you can change the colors. Changing the colors, you just you can click on a chance and you see like the color change. Sometimes uh, you don't get the colors you want, so you sacrifice another one. You didn't get the red, no red at all, but we got a nice white. I just want three red. Always I go just for three colors out of four. That's a, that's a perfect thing. Because four colors, it's uh, like there is, it's expensive. You can't get it that easily. So let's try. Nothing. All blue, but still unlucky with the reds. Still unlucky, all green again. <laughs> Just two reds. Now we need to sacrifice. Also, if you want to sacrifice, you will need to have uh, the slots uh, empty. So we will need to change to try this side the other one, I think. That's the same. Rarity, so you can place it there. Put and remove. Put and remove. And uh, take your shards. So now we can use this to want to sacrifice. So let's put the one we want on the top. And let's sacrifice this one. These are colors are nice. Three red and the blue one. We can put the elemental master on the blue as I show you in the effect. Like you can see, like distance, distance, distance. That gives you double. As you can see, you can we can fill it up to level three, three and three. We can put here elemental master. It's fine. We don't we don't worry about these. We pay 28 shards, and here is it. Here it is. And let's see the stats. As you can see, like the start, normally it gives you 15 mastery plus 5 single target. That's 20. But if you count the, the, the colors and the shards, it gives you 8 distance plus 8 distance plus the other 8. That's already 24. Add the 3 elemental mastery, that's 25 mastery in total when you are hitting in distance. So imagine that like, this one gives you 20 mastery, but the sharding gives you 25 mastery more. So as you can see, like the, the colors are really important. They are also important in terms of uh, sublimation. The colors are the colors are important also if you want to put a nice sublimation on it. Like for example, as you can see, like uh, there is a list of uh, the whole existing sublimation in the game. You can go to Zenith what for you can find it on the, on the left or the right side. You can I, I, or I recommend you to go through them, read what each one does. Uh, and you might find some that are really interesting for you, how to play. You can start playing around with the cheap ones. As you can see, like this one gives you more HP, more damage. Uh, some are really expensive, some are really cheap, so you can just use the ones you want. And, uh, and I recommend you go there, read them all, and try them out. So I want to, let's say I want length, and I want this one, length, one level, gives you 2% inflicted damage on aligned targets. 
and uh, gives you one level because it's length one. This effect can stack up to six levels, so that means that you can have either like six uh, levels, or this one can give you four levels, the max. Length can give you up to six. So you can have basically six sublimations on, on different gear that gives you six, uh, six levels of length. You can use on two gear to have two levels. Yeah, and it counts. So in total, like if I'm using all six, that will give me 20%. Uh, that gives you 20% more, 12%, and we have influence, the same thing, this gives you like, so if you once one, give you 3% critical hit, if you increase it up to 6, if you put 6 of these one, you can gain 18% critical hit, so sublimations can upgrade your gear even more, that's the higher level of uh, optimization, enchantment, and you can see like, we, I already have also uh, an, an influence three you see see it on the top it says influence one just adds one level and influence three adds three levels it's uh, obviously more expensive but you you can just use two sublimations of main three on two on two different gear and you will gain six levels of length the full 12 percent extra damage or you can use the length one, cheap one, like on six different gear, and you will gain the same thing. But just keep in mind, like, you only have ten gear, so you need, like, to distribute your sublimations according to gear, as you want, and as much as you can afford. But it's nice to put one here, one there, to, to buff your damage. Uh, but for this, like, we need to have the, the colors, blue, red, red. There is the combination under the name. That's the... That's that, that need to be present on the gear itself. Like for example, this one is perfect already. Like we can see, like blue, red, red. So that fits with the influ the with the length sublimation that fits perfectly. You can have either a gear that has only three swords, blue, red, red. You can already use it there, or you can use on a gear that gives you, for example, a random slot followed by blue, red, red, or blue, red, red followed by another slot. So the combination is is mandatory to have and uh, in the same order as the sublimation is. And keep in mind, as I told you, the white one is a, is a joker color. So you can have a key that has blue, white, red. It works. Like this one already blue, red, red. As we can see, like it's and the three last ones. So we can already use it. Like, uh, and this one, second one, has blue, red, green, so uh, it's not perfect. You make sure to just stay away. You can double click on it or use it from here. Go on the gear, click on it, and as you can see, blue, red, red. Are you sure to want to use? Use it. And here you go. Your gear already have length on it. Sublimation is all applied correctly because we had like a blue, red, red, perfect combination. That works. Now we have uh, the gear made with sublimation. Even though that blue is not perfect, but it's fine. We gain 2% more damage. And the same thing for the other colors. I was lucky here, I got the blue, red, green directly, but we, we need to play around with it so I can show you the, the, the third part. So I showed you about the color. Now let's say that you have the perfect color, but uh, you don't have the correct uh, order you want. So for example, if we want to take this one, blue, red, green, we, if we want to put it there, I think I need to move. Like blue, red, green, it doesn't fit. But we have like a blue and a red and a white. A white can substitute the green. So we have the three colors, but we need to flip them around. So flipping them around, we will need to have like blue, followed by a red, followed by a white. To flip them around, that's the, the third tab, the, the last tab of the, the enchantment. So we can have this applied. So we go to the enchantment, choose your gear. That's the one. We will click on the, the, fourth, uh, the fourth tab, which says order. This one, this, this one is, you can use the charge. You can sacrifice another one, but I already have six charges, so the sacrifice will stay there. 
it won't be sacrificed until you use all charges keep that in mind you can use a, a charge to obtain blue red and white so we didn't get it now we didn't get it now not yet we almost got it not we didn't now we got it stick it comes like from top to the bottom or from left to right like let's let's check now because we got blue red white we can go apply the blue red green where is it it's here so uh, for the other ones i can show you like it's it's, it's the same thing for the other ones like you can you can do the same thing but let's say that you, you wanted to try to put the, the sublimation on something that doesn't have the same colors like this one have green green blue that is what happens the game won't allow you to use the sockets so having the right color in the right order is important but if you use it on this one uh, as you can see like this one is blue red green blue red white it will work see and now this one has mania level one because we wanted this work, work perfectly let's say that we want to use the other one the green green red it won't work but here you see like we take uh, we do more melee damaging stuff nice now now let's say we want to use the oh, this one green green red we have only two slots we have this one with four slot already already have a sublimation you can't add a sublimation on top of another sublimation you can only have one one per time so what you can do you can go here and uh, you can click here on X to remove the sublimation when you remove the sublimation it's just gone like you don't get it back or anything you just remove it and it's, it's done uh, that will allow you like to put another one let's say we want the green green red so we need to find these colors so what you're gonna do we will need to, to change the colors because we want the right color but here here we, we, we obtained these colors outfit I, I recommend to open it here look you can see we have red green red uh, I mean green red green or red green green so we have the right colors but it's not in the right order so what we will need to do now we will need to move to the order change the order like we did the color we get the colors we want now we change the order and as you can see red red green red red green like on the on the table it comes from top to the bottom or from left to side when we do it it will apply it works just like that now we got like steel on this easy now we now you know like how to get the colors what the colors are beneficial for and how to get the effects you can just click here and put like, now I can put my effects on it anytime I want because I already have it as you can see works really nice and how to obtain the shards you can buy either destroying items you just click on the little hammer on the top I showed you and you go on the on your item and you will gain a bunch of, uh, of shards you can also buy them from the market or you can also buy the sublimation for market I will show you where you can find sublimations or how to buy them uh, let's walk here you can buy shards you can just like buy shards on the market you can buy shards or you can buy the, the sublimation here is what to do I already tried it so the first icon you click on it resources and then the second one you click on the enchantment and for this one you click on the first sublimation scroll and click look let's sort by price and you can see uh, look still 90 cameras 190 mania poised weapon armor length a lot are cheap and you can see the colors that you need to have and there are some expensive ones some really expensive ones let's check for example a ambush so influence millions and millions of cameras AP return also and why they are expensive because this one recovers one AP when killing an item that's something that everyone wants so and this one gives you six percent for three levels 
in close combat in melee you need just you can see the combos the combination there the blue white white a uh, blue blue red i mean so if you and also there is one last thing i want to talk about there is sublimations that only work for your uh, epic and relics you can find it in the handyman because now they are only craft so for example let's check this, the, these ones are dropped only by, uh, like they are made by stones that you can only drop. And of course, by uh, using ogre tears. So ogre tears, they are really useful. And these you can make them, you can have one epic uh, sublimation, one relic. This one, it says that the sublimation fits into a relic item. So this one, a relic sublimation. And you can only have one. And as you can see, like it gives you some really nice stats. It can buffs uh, your damage by a lot. It changes the way you play the game. Like for example, I have one epic, one relic, so I can use one on my boots, one on my my cape. But for these, you can for these ones are special because you can use them alongside the normal sublimation because the epic and relic sublimation do not depend on color. So even though here I have just two colors, I can put a relic sublimation on it. Just put it there, and it should it should be added, no problem. And for the colors, you can do the other one. And of course, they are expensive. Here is a list where you can find it on Zenith Wakfu again. It, these are for epic. As you can see, anatomy gives you more damage, brutality more damage. You can find them all here. There is not a lot. I recommend like checking them and seeing like what each one does. Maybe you can come up with a nice build for yourself. As you can see, like here, this one gives more range, 15 range damage. So someone that stands, satisfa satisfaction, like gives you 2% damage per turn. It's free damage. Lunatic, for example, like this one gives you 24% more damage when you and your odd turns. Like for a zero, for example, zero plays each turn, like one turn they play, one turn they rest. So this one fits a zero perfectly. So as you can see, this this relics and epic sublimation are like really good. They can buff your damage. This one, like if someone can hit from everywhere, you put a brazier on him, 10% more damage, 10% increase. From aura, let's say for someone that melee, you want him to stand near, you can just gain him more, long, more damage and damage every time. So here you can find them, uh, and as you can see, like you can fill 10, 10 ones. 10 element, 10 uh, normal sublimations, and an epic, and a relic. And let's say, like for example, I will show you how it looks because I don't have any on my own. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, I, this is a cape that ha that's, that has satisfaction, and a relic cape that has this one. As you can see, it has red, two whites, and a red. So it has a satisfaction and also has basic critical, the normal sublimation and the relic sublimation. So keep this in mind, you can use it. And uh, let's let's see like the other one. Like there is a ring here for sale. Has also a satisfaction too. But you can see the colors are di are different. So the the relic and epic sublimation do not uh, uh, do not be attached to the color. It's just like needs to be an epic a relic and you put the relic subly on it and it's done you will have the icon at the top right and of course that's why this stuff are expensive because there is few and uh, they improve your life a lot and uh, I hope you understand now why the enchantment is important and how you can go from having gear that's that's not Optimal to a gear that same activity as you can see like this one gives you a much more um, but, but, but Much more uh, damage as you can see like my Zelor has Has some really nice gear this allowed me to make to do dungeon on stasis 5 on the Like uh, as you can see like everyone I have an epic and a rig I didn't use sublimations, but I did enchantment for the colors this allowed me to do dungeons on stasis 5 it was easy really useful uh, and as you can see like there is 10 gear can put them on each one 
and uh, I hope uh, this clarify how to do enchantments will help me understand how strong it is you can do it on your gear you can improve a lot if you got any questions please leave them in the comment section and I will try to answer you as much as I can but here is an example like you can see like this one has like four slots I filled it with uh, distance mastery and resistances. I was able to, to do more damage in survive better. And uh, there is also the link of uh, Method Wakfu. These, these are level of enchantments, depends on objects before I forget. Like if you have a level one object, you can just put one level of enchantment. The higher the, the level the object, the higher level of enchantment you have, the higher it costs and the higher uh, the, the stats you gain. But as you can see, like the more levels you put in, the more charge you put in. So I recommend to not go put in too much. Just uh, maximum, I would say like maybe nine, eight. That's a nice one. As you can see, this is a cumulated one, even if it's in French, but uh, you can understand. And the sublimation, like you see, you can buy them, but you can actually drop them. Uh, you can drop them from certain dungeons from from doing stelis. Uh I try to let's try to, to see if I can find find any stelis, but there is a, just a lot. I don't think I have uh, any in a video. Uh we we check the stelis. There is the box that is in a uh, like on the entrance of the dungeon or just the, before the boss it should look like just a, a small uh, box where you can put when you can put either powder or you, you put some some other high level stuff I don't remember the names but uh, you, you will get the idea if you find them it will show it will tell you what you can do but lower level you can start doing them I can't find a picture of that but I think the lower level you can do it is that you can do it on uh, on the mineral tower. You can put the powder in each to gain more drops. But you can see like it says like the boss. Watch it. if you do one steely, two steelies, or three steelies, you get access to more uh, sublimations. That's a way how people get the sublimations. You can also drop them from the mimic, the runic mimics. Or you can get them from the breaches. You can do the breach by yourself with a friend, and you can you can see the whole list where you can find them all, and you can check where you can drop it, how to drop it. There is there is also some ones that are only craft in the handyman. You can craft them by yourself. Yeah, and I think uh, that's that sums it all in general. That's everything that you need to know, and. Uh, Try it yourself, don't be afraid, and it should be fine. Thanks for watching.